Alright, so we back. We back with another. Let me cut these window wipers down. It's raining. Run around and die. Cutting these things down so y'all can hear me. But look, I was just thinking, nah, this shit gonna annoy me. Alright, make them go slow. Alright, so we here, right? And I was just thinking, like, we must protect our energy, like, for real. Like, we we out here. People is blood suckers, bro. Like vampires, bro. I know y'all heard that saying before. Like niggas are really suck your blood, bro. Like you ain't never just been around a negative motherfucker who just like create drama, and it ain't really in the spirit of moment creating drama. It's just like around you, like man, like you like how how you doing? They really answering the question, like shit. They could be better. Like I'm, I maintain. Like they just that energy. You feel me? Like that energy pull you down. That shit like drain you, and I ain't realized that. Like I heard it, I preached it, whatever, woo woo woo. But until recently, I'm like, yo, you can get around an unhappy motherfucker, and they move to make you unhappy. And it's not even consciously; it's unconscious. Like, like they just the energy around them, like dead ass. Like they just had you in that zone and shit. Like my man's, like you just gotta watch that shit. I was telling my boy, like you gotta be careful with how many times you're trying to help your boy out with information, like. Whether it's about women or whether it's about this. And he like, nah, fuck that bitch. She a hoe. Da, da, da. You got to be careful. Like, with the, we're, we're trying to help your mans. Because he had you on the phone draining you. That shit will be going through your right ear and staying in there. Now you looking at shit like, yo, man. Like, nah, that's why I don't be fucking with the bitches. Like, you got to watch that shit. Like, and that was just an example. But you got to watch that, bro. Like, I was just sitting here like, yo, this, this the, the remainder of this 2020. I'm trying to get real calm at protecting my energy, whether it's meditation, whether it's whatever, like just having a peace of mind. I'm trying to get to a point where it's no disrespect, but it's like if it's negative and I, and you know, it's funny. Let me go to a quick story. Like my cousin, I always call him, right? He my big cousin. I always call this nigga like, yo, I be always calling this nigga to read like, yo, niggas be hating. I got a man. He always hating. Like he be looking me up and down. I be like, just, I was on that dumb shit, right? Hold on. Let me cut my, uh. This shit getting foggy, cuz. Give me one second. And we're back. Alright, so I got a man's and shit, right? And I be telling my cousin, like, yo, niggas be hating on me on the low, but I'm I be playing it off, like, but niggas be having negative energy, not even neg just hating. You feel me? Like a nigga just be hating on your success. And um, I do a good job at playing it off. I play it off. I act dumb as hell. Like, like I don't know. I be like, yo, I laugh shit off, like, ah, but really I'm like, nigga, you a hater. Niggas hate, I know who you know I am. I, nigga, I know who I am. The fuck, nigga? Niggas be thinking you don't know who you is. Like, they could down you. Nigga, I know who I am, nigga. I know how you used to look up to me or you admire me, boy. Whether you old or younger, nigga, I know. So stop playing dumb here, nigga. Why we playing dumb here, nigga? Can't wait to get in, a, in an opportunity or a situation and down you. Like, yeah, like, or you come to them for advice and they like, this the opportunity to feel like the big dog, like, you know what I'm saying? But the moral of the story was my cousin checked me one day like, hey, yo, my niggas, you keep talking about these niggas or you keep saying niggas is hating, then why you around them? I was like, well, shit. You feel me? Like, it motivate me. Then he like, all right, well, let that shit motivate you over there. Keep that shit away from me, though. Let's talk about something else that we can build. And I'm like, nigga, you my big cousin. I'm supposed to be. He like, nah, I'm your big cousin, but you not about to drain me. It's always the close ones that drain you, like your loved ones and shit. Nah, he like, nah, nigga, you not about to do that. I'm working right now. You draining me with this lame shit and it took for me to get in a position to understand what my homies call me talking about women like yo man nah, nah, where the bitches at hell like these hoes be out here bro like for real man. and he like what's going on with you and your bitch like niggas be instant like nah bro don't use me in that type of way like let's evolve you feel me like let's evolve like you feel me like but the moral of the story is just protect your energy cuz like protect your shit bro like Niggas will really blood suck the shit out of you Like during the daytime Vampires don't be supposed to be out during the day Fuck is you doing out here during the daytime I'm looking at y'all nigga Let me What the fuck is going on Like This fog shit Like It's raining right now y'all And I'm on a roll But The window's fogging up I don't know if my breath hot Or I'm just talking Or the window Like with this shit fogging up So I gotta be safe out this bitch trying to make a quick video nigga about to uh, but yeah like they be out during the daytime like walking in the sun like sucking on you you'll keep them around like something sometimes we like hating ass niggas around sometimes as long as it ain't about to really endanger me but it kills your energy cuz like i used to tell niggas like 
Niggas will watch what they say if you only had a certain amount of words to say a day, right? If God gave you like a hundred words to say a day, you'll be very careful with what the fuck you say. You wouldn't waste your time. So start looking at shit like that, right? Start looking at it as, nigga, I only got a certain amount of words before I'm dead, nigga. You get a certain amount of words before you dead, and that's real talk. You feel me? But what if you had it per day? You'll be real careful. That should have had you like, hey, good. Like, you wouldn't just be yapping and chatting and shit. You'll be real precise about what you're saying. And that's where I'm coming from. Like, don't let that shit go over your head. You feel me? Like, you only get a certain amount of words, nigga, before you dead and in your day. You feel me? Like, be very kind and wise about how you go about shit. You know what I mean? be, be, be on it, nigga. And stay away from them vampires, bro. If niggas is vampires and they showing you they teeth, cuz, yo, my nigga, you can still love them from a distance. You feel me? You can still love them from a distance. But keeping them around is going to keep you in the same cycle. Keep Keeping them blood suckers around going to keep you in the same cycle. You're going to find yourself like a seesaw. It's going to be ups, down, ups, down, ups, down, ups, down. But we trying to level up and stay up. And when we have a down, it ain't really a down. You feel me? It look like it's down, but it's not really a down. That saying, aim for the stars, fall in the clouds if you don't make it. Like, that's what we got to do. So it's not really a down. You still up. You feel me? But um, we just got to position ourselves better, man. We're protecting our energy. And when you do that, whether it's a job interview or whatever it is, I got I got a thing I do. I look in the mirror and I repeat shit like, yo, you beautiful, you great, people love you. Like, I used to say that when I was teaching before I go in as a behavior specialist or a sub or something like that. Like, that's a big field on the low. You coming in new, nigga, like a new student. You coming in, you don't know how the kids gonna look at you, you don't know nothing. But when you got confidence and you know what you do, you do. You look in the mirror, you just like, yo, I'm great, I'm beautiful. I even hit him with the blue face, like, uh, uh, nigga, get right, uh. Then I go up in that bitch and my walk is different, my talk is different. So it ain't cocky, but it's, it's storing that in my head. And you should try that shit, like, just try it. Whatever you need to tell yourself, say that shit before you enter the presence of others. So your energy can be right. You feel me? So your energy can be right. But that's that, man. That shit was just on my head, man. Just when we learned about blood sucking ass vampires you want to stay away from, you know? You fuck with them from a distance. Let them hate from a distance. Don't have them right there. And then you talking about the shit when they done hating. Like, okay, you want them there hating, but then you going back running to your cousin or running to your bitch. Like, yo, niggas be hating. Like, my man. All right, so you look dumb as fuck saying, you're, like, what you doing? If he really hating and it's serious, then you need to reevaluate that nigga and reevaluate your friendship. And if it ain't serious, stop pillow talking, nigga. Stop pillow talking. Niggas be just making themselves relevant to they bitch. They be insecure and broke. They coming home and shit like, Bruh. she like, what's wrong? Niggas like, shit, you know my man, he owe me money and shit. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You broke right now, nigga. That's why you try. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. But don't let that go over your head. Watch out for them fucking vampires. They be out here during the day. And excuse my motherfucking language.